this is up, Nikki. You're always welcome to join me in expanding your knowledge base. Comments are always welcome, man. Please subscribe. Like I said, this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Okay, let's try one, two, four, five, six, or seven. Okay. And I just keep pushing stuff down. So it's number seven. So that's where the lead goes. And then we just going to go to this one right here first. Off to the side. So we follow the trace. There you go. It's connected. It comes up here. And it's connected there. It comes down here. And it's connected there. So we have this one. This one. This one. So that one was pretty easy to track to it. So I believe that's where it ends for this side. Going towards the other side. So we back at seven. Right? Then we going up and then we tracing it around to this one. And that one. And that one. And that one. And I don't believe it's connected to the last one. And no, it's not. So it's connected to all of those. It's not connected to the last one. So it's going through all of the resistors except for the last one there. The last one is connected to the other one. So we beginning to really see how these these are connected and how the wiring would go was connected together that is definitely something that's very interesting we have this one where it went to this came up and then there and then around and all through those resistors okay so now we could actually, I guess, try to see what's going on with this one. And it's coming to this one. I thought it was going to that one. This is actually the back part of... Okay, so as you can see, this one... Let's see. What we can show kind of hard to show or to see but this one right here right next to that triangle I really had to point the lead down in there because apparently it's a smaller hole and there's no copper around it but apparently it's from the other side right it was probably coming through from the other side where the other traces are so just making sure to get the lead right in there not pressing too hard we don't want to damage anything and then just touching this one okay and then you get the buzzing and also the read all on oh i can't even show it now because uh, let's see can we angle it Let's see. Let's pull this over because this we're working on this side. And I'm gonna show a couple more examples and then I'm gonna turn in for the day and finish this up tomorrow. So we have we really getting it in there, okay? I'm kind of bracing the corner with my finger because it's only clipped in one place because I don't want it to damage any of the traces. So really getting in that hole because you know it got that tip right there and so you can point it down in the hole but I'm not pressing because I don't want to push nothing out so it's coming from here and it's curving and then it's going to this middle one and we hear the buzz okay 
I believe I was wrong. So let's see. And it's not. Hmm. Let's see some. And these don't seem to be okay. I was wrong. These are, I was very wrong. I thought this may have been a header, but these are actually the pins that you're going to solder that's going to be inserted into the, um, the Arduino. So they're the header pins that will be connecting into the Arduino for the digitals. As you can see, it's saying it right there. The REF, the ground, the D. So these are going to be header pins. This is something else. Okay, so it might give you the, the um, capability of having another row of um, digitals. And this may also be doing the same thing. Um, so, but I do know that um, these second rows are not even going to be they're not going to have anything in them so but they are traced out for a certain purpose what that is right now i don't know but we have this one hooked up and then this one right here in the middle is going to be hooked up hmm. okay it's going to be hooked up to this one okay turn back on for me okay let me try to move my hands out the way so you can kind of try to see some of this on the display because I know I haven't been showing it where were we we were right here with the middle part right there and then the trace is going all and over to this one right as you can see the display went crazy because it is connected now let me turn my sound on okay <laughs> is connected so as you can see even with the sound off and it's showing as the dial it still works only you would just have to keep an eye on the display to see it moving but this sound part makes it so that you can actually hear when it's connected very low buzz but it works okay so we have that we know that that's connecting to that. I believe that's all that's going on right there. Um, don't really know what's going on with that trace. So I'm going to leave that one alone. Um, or actually showing what's going on on the other side. Because it's going to be flipped over and I believe it got a whole lot more traces on the other side which is the back side. It, it have a, a good amount of traces on the other side. And since we will have an idea of what's going on on the front side, then we'll be able to work a little bit better with what we're doing. Oh. Let's see what's going on over this gear. So we have a pen, and we know that that's probably one of the back side ones. It looks like the trace is going See if I'm in focus. Okay. Get my big old hands out the way. Okay. Okay, this one right here. Right over this gear here. Okay. It looks like the trace is going up. It's not going to see that, that display, so we ain't going to worry about it. We'll just go with the sound. Okay. We were right here. Okay. It looks like it's going up, over, over, over to D2 maybe. No. No. Looks like it's... It's somewhere, it's connecting to some over here. It's 
So now we just looking. It main make sure it's in there. Okay. It's connecting to D eight nine ten. Okay, so the one over the gear is connecting to D10. Okay. Alright. So, now, I'm pretty sure you see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to keep on doing it like that until we get this all traced off. And then, once it's all traced off, and we know where everything is going, because like I said, we know now that this one is connected to D10. A good amount of it is being plotted out. So we seeing where it's going. We seeing how it's going to connect. And I'm just going to continue on until it's all plotted out, and then I'll be right back. We have two projects that we're working on. We're learning things. So, and it's the clock and it's the um, ISP shield. Uh, they're very small projects, but, you know, learning how to trace it so that you can figure out how to breadboard it. There you go. Hi, I'm Ebony Geek, and I hope that the information provided has been helpful to you. Please remember to subscribe. Happy building and happy coding.